Yeah, water is a water is a complicated issue. Uh, I was talking with Senator Borges today, who is a the chair of ag and they're um, they're going to have a press conference on 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 issues around water um, but south valley water issues are can be very different than delta water issues uh, because anytime you say send more water to the farmers down south you're basically talking about running that water not through the delta uh, that that we need to be able to maintain that ecosystem as well so i sit in a very complicated uh right. the, the rapids of the water if if you will um but we're you know I, I, our farmers are are you know the the first environmentalists right their care for the land i think has been phenomenal and they have had to continue to evolve uh to be able to how to figure out how to how to farm with less water uh but we definitely need water to to be able to keep our crops so the the issue of storage continues to come up um, and we have to do that. There's a, there's, you know, uh, recharging our aquifers every year. I've done something on groundwater recharge as a beneficial use. Those bills are always difficult, right? It, it is, uh, if we try to say, let's, let us, let's put more in the ground, then our South Valley folks will say, no, don't put it in the ground, send it down to us. So it's a tension that, that always exists. Uh, I was one of the negotiators on the twenty. 13, 14 water bond that we'd really try to make sure that um, no areas were harmed. Uh, and and, I, and I, I personally think that's, that is the best way to go. If we can, if we can make sure that we don't, aren't picking winners and losers, we'll get through, we'll get through this. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so I think the governor's got some decisions to make coming up about, you know, do we de- declare a statewide drought? And then the, um, that, you know, that frees up the movement of more water, but you still have a capacity uh, and a supply issue. There's still, you know, there's not enough uh, for all the people and all the things that we have planted in the state of California right now. So we, I think we constantly need, need, need to be making decisions. I think uh, we'll see with Sigma, we passed some years back, the, uh, that, that's where we're monitoring um, underground water supply. Uh, that we're going to see some land fallowed, and you know that is very difficult for uh, for our agriculture community to hear. Um, but that's that is going to be part of the reality. So we're uh, that's going to be part of the equation. Um, and we need to make sure our rivers are are still healthy and clean. We need to make sure our species stay alive. So it is a it is a real balance to be able to to work with the issue of water in, in California. Yeah, I guess I guess that's a really interesting that balancing act you you really portrayed well there. Um, you know, it, it used to be, are you on the side of the farmers or the smelt? Um, yeah. And you know, I guess there's this argument out there that there's you know, or, or belief that there's plenty of water out there, but the government's holding it from us. <laughs> um, but you know, you did a great job kind of portraying that balancing act and how you know there's a lot of a lot of needs for different water in the state. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like you know, right? salmon's iconic in the state of California. Do we really want to you know? starve our rivers enough that but there's no there's no salmon left that's right. 